Hello everyone, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. Today I am bringing you six projects. What I'm sharing with you today are ways you can upcycle items from the Dollar Tree and thrift store finds using these awesome stencils and chalk art from a maker's studio. You could also use these ideas with vinyl from a Cricut or other word stickers. For the first project, I'm using from Dollar Tree, one of these burlap and metal table signs. I'm also using, like I said, a stencil set for fall from a maker studio and some chalk art. Now, I don't know if you know this already, it took me a while to learn this, but nail polish remover will get off any of the writing or printing that is on the these metal items from Dollar Tree. So like the metal buckets, these little metal signs, it works awesome. If you've never heard of a maker studio, I think it is a fairly new company. And I just have to say, yes, I am an affiliate with them. I have my link in the description box, but I can honestly tell you these are the best stencils I have ever used. One, they um, have an adhesive backing so they don't move around when you're using them. And then the design, anywhere that the paint is going is a mesh. So it just really does a great job of laying down the paint and not bleeding under the spaces. So you get a very crisp um, design when you pull up the stencil. Here you can see you use very little of the chalk art. You put it on with this scraper so that once you have it all in place, you scrape away the excess and then peel up your stencil and look at how crisp that design is. I am in love with these stencils and I will make sure I put the names of the stencil sets that I'm using and all the colors of the paints in the description box below. Once I have my design on the metal front, I'm just taking some of this thin black gingham ribbon from Hobby Lobby, making a small little bow that I'm going to hot glue just to the top of my pumpkin as a finishing touch and then this project is done so hopefully you will never look at these burlap and metal signs the same way again they are very customizable for my second project I'm upcycling one of these small metal trays that I found at a thrift store um, however, you can definitely use any of these metal trays that you can find at the Dollar Tree. They have a few different shapes. I've seen oval, circle, and rectangular ones. So first I'm taking my tray and giving it a couple coats of the flat white primer paint. And here's that. Next, I'm using another one of my fall stencils from a maker studio. I thought this was so cute. It says, oh my gourd, I love fall. So on the first project, I only used one color of the chalk art. On this project, I'm going to show you how you can use multiple colors. So I'm using that same orange, mind your manners, and I'm gonna use that with a small little scraper piece so I can place the paint only where I want it on those first two lines and then I'm going to add in a second color for the last line that says I love fall so I'm curious if any of you use stencils in your crafting um, if so what kind what do you like about them what do you not like about them um, I just know that when I try to use stencils that don't have any sort of adhesive backing, yes, you can spray um, a temporary adhesive on them, 
but um, I love that I can just wash these off and then they let them dry and they are sticky again. I just place them back on the backing sheet. So um, now I'm using this green color. It's the same type of paint. And because I have a small uh, chalk art spreader, I can be very precise on where I place it. And again, once I have it in all of the mesh um, where the letters are, I just scrape away the excess and then reveal a gorgeous stenciled image. I just can't say enough about this method and how perfect of a stencil you get. Once my words were dry, which does not take very long at all, I decided the tray was now a little too plain. So I'm just showing you a couple different ways you can add some dimension to it. You can take a Sharpie marker like this and kind of I'm outlining that gorgeous little scallop shape on the inside of the tray. And you could also use the Sharpie to darken the outer edges of the tray. I used some black chalk paint. Here I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more because I felt like you couldn't really see it. So again, this is one of those DIYs that just kind of developed as I went along. So you can add that black around the outer edge for a little bit of that enameled look. I decided also then to go ahead and keep dry brushing some of my black chalk paint and make sort of a frame in that space between the outer edge and the flat part of my tray. So just never look at thrift store or Dollar Tree items to use them just as they maybe originally were meant to be used. So I love this tray upcycle. I think the little phrase is so, so cute, and I just love how this little tray turned out. I plan on making more with other sayings, also even for Christmas time. My base for project number three comes from this thrift store picture with this gorgeous wooden frame and also a five by seven canvas from Dollar Tree. So the first thing I have to do, of course, the boring part is remove the staples from the back of the frame so I can get the picture out. And then we will move on to decorating the frame. It's kind of, you can't really see it on camera, but it had kind of an orangey tint to it you know, kind of an older wood frame. So I'm just wiping it off and then I'm using some of my Waverly Antique Wax. I just want to darken it up. Now I've never used this antique wax on wood that already had some sort of stain or paint on it. So I was just kind of experimenting, hoping that it would, if I let it sat for a few minutes, it would darken up the wood and I was pleasantly surprised. I did my usual method of wiping away the excess and my frame was noticeably darker than when I started. More of a brown than the orangey brown. So like I said, I'm using a five by seven canvas that you can find in the crafter square section of Dollar Tree. I did just put a couple pieces of wood under there um, so that there would be a little bit more pressure in the center. And I love this truck stencil. It's so versatile and so adorable. The trucks, you know, have been popular for a few years now, but I love that this isn't huge. It, like I said, it fits on that five by seven um, canvas so I'm just going to make sure it is stuck down now I don't know if it's the finish on this canvas but you I did need to flip it over and really rub it to get it to stick down so this project I'm also going to use uh, multiple colors of the chalk art this is a beautiful 
eggplant purple. Again, I will have the names of all the colors in the description box. So I'm using this for the truck. And then of course I will pull away any of the excess. Now I could have just left the stencil on and done the orange right away, but I wanted to get the stencil off and rinse off, clean off all the purple paint. And then I will come back to do the pumpkins once the truck is dry, which like I said, does not take very long at all. Now it's dry and I lined my stencil back up and using the orange again, I'm just using a tiny little spreader and getting into all the spaces on the mesh for these cute little pumpkins. Another thing I want to encourage you with is you do not have to use these stencils exactly how they are made. So this one says Farm Fresh Pumpkins, has this gorgeous pumpkin in the middle, but I'm going to use just the wording and have my truck in the middle instead. So just think of ways you can kind of piece together the stencils. You don't have to cut them apart. As a matter of fact, I would suggest you not because everything is spaced um, really well. So I'm going to use this green color that we used on the tray and I'm going to do the words farm fresh and then move my stencil and place the word pumpkins under my truck. And voila, here is our stenciled image using three different colors. And these canvases just pop right into this frame. I didn't even need to glue it or anything. So here is our third project, this beautiful Farm Fresh pumpkin sign with the truck and the pumpkins. Next, I'm using one of these box signs. You can find these anywhere, lots of thrift stores. Dollar Tree sometimes has them and I'm going to use a different stencil and also introduce you to not just the chalk art, but um, another type of paint from a maker studio. Another little hack here that I'm sure you maybe already know is to remove the glitter from these signs, just put some goo gone on there and then take your scraper and it will scrape right off. This is awesome. I did not show this, but then I did take an alcohol wipe just to clean off any goo gone that might still be on the front of the sign. Okay, so if you've watched any of my videos, you know about Waverly Chalk Paint. This is the color Truffle. It's a nice dark brown. I liked this teal color, but it wasn't the look I was going for. So I'm going to do just one coat of Truffle Brown on the back and also all four sides of this sign. Then I'm going to take some painter's tape and tape off around there so that I can paint the top. This is another kind of paint from Maker Studio. It's called Restore and Repair, I believe. Again, it'll be in the description. I'm still new with this. This paint is designed more for painting furniture, but um, I loved that it still covered this design with one coat. It was a little bit more watery than Waverly, so I thought I was going to have to do a second coat, but the color 
just covered so amazingly. So one coat, and I believe this color, this navy is called Summer Nights. And again, just so happy with that. So again, using stencils differently than they're designed, I am going to use this leaf, but I'm not going to have the word blessed in the middle. I'm going to choose a different word I'll show you in a minute. So just placing again the adhesive stencil, getting it centered on my project. Yeah, the leaf hangs off a tiny little bit at the top and the bottom, but that's not going to bother me. Um, and just getting it all set, using the orange again, mind your manners. I'm going to do the top section of the leaf and also the bottom section, leaving the word space in the middle blank for now. So gorgeous, I absolutely love this navy with that orange, it just pops off. Here you can see I decided instead of blessed, I'm going to use this word thankful that came in a different on a different sheet of stencils. And I'm going to do white, it's called peace and joy is the name of the color, for the word thankful, again, just to really pop off that navy background. I decided as a final touch to take my sanding block from Dollar Tree and just sand those four edges around the top where the truffle brown and the navy summer nights paint were meeting just to blend it in a little bit better and then I was done and this is what my finished product looks like. For the next project, I'm going to show you how easy it is to upcycle these little canvas zipper pouches from Dollar Tree using this same stencil and using a different ink. This is called Gel Art Ink, and this is great to use on fabrics. So once you let it dry, you can just heat set it very easily with an iron. And I don't think I'm even going to do that with this one because it's not something I'm going to wear and wash like a t-shirt or something, but they do come with instructions and very easy to use. All right, so now I am going to use the word blessed on the center of this stencil and I'm just centering it on the top canvas portion of this zipper pouch, pressing it down. And I'm going to use just a tiny little bit of this gel ink. The color is called, I believe, Bless His Heart, and still going to use the tiny scraper. So just a tiny little bit, I probably used way too much, but um, you can see that the gel ink and also the ceramic ink that I'm going to show you in just a moment come in these little tubes. But again, you do not need to use very much of these paints. And with the mesh stencil and the scraper, you just get a perfect application every single time. And there it is. That's all there is to it. Your beautiful little personalized Dollar Tree zipper pouch. 
This last one I'm going to use um, one of these larger, I don't know if it's a soup mug or a latte mug from Dollar Tree in white. And then this set of stencils here has a lot of great little encouraging words in all different fonts. I decided I'm going to use this Be Still and Know. This could be made into a mug that you actually drink out of, or as you'll see another way that I'm going to use it at the end. So these are ceramic paints. Now the one I'm going to use, I got before they changed them all to not even need to be baked. So they just need to dry for like four hours. They're completely food safe. Um, go to my link to get all the information about why these paints are amazing. They have no VOCs, no odor at all really. Um, so once you put this on, even on the top of a plate, it is completely safe to eat from. So using this time a little foam, uh, what do you call this? Sprouncher, I can't remember the name, but you just do the little pouncing motion to get the paint into the mesh. And then like before, once you've completely covered your letters or design, then you just peel up your stencil to reveal your perfect wording on your piece. So here's another way you could use these mugs that you design. You can add a flower. Once again, let me show you just close up look at all six of our projects today. I hope this video inspired you to look at Dollar Tree items and thrift store items in new ways to see how you can take old things and make them new. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please in the comments let me know what you liked the best and if you have any questions about a maker's studio. Bye!